Yeah, good day, it's Charlie ZL2 CDM, just listening to the radio now it's being configured as a receiver. I'll just, uh, I'll just play it for a little while and I'll just tune around a bit. Yeah. Okay, right, let's, let's, uh, let's uh, uh, mute that for a sec. Okay, so um, what I've done, I have taken the modules that have been made over the last couple of weeks and configured them as a single conversion um, receiver. Um, so just let me just grab a pointing stick. Uh, let's use that today, that'll work. So uh, what I've done there, I have taken um, the components are made of this here, so we have our RF coming in. It's going through just a, a simple switch this stage. Um, I'm not going to use a fancy uh, antenna changeover relay uh, in the spirit of keeping this simple and easy. Uh, this is just a double pole, double throw switch. So uh, transmit obviously and then receive. So one pole is switching the 12 volts between uh, receive and transmit and the other pole is switching the RF between uh, receive and um, if I do turn this into a transceiver uh, from the transmit side. Um, that RF is coming through the bandpass filter here and then going straight into the, the mixer. Uh, that's being mixed with our VFO frequency here coming out of clock zero of the SI5351 uh, and the output of that is our IF coming through here into our first IF amplifier and then into the crystal filter. Out of the crystal filter and uh, into the second IF amp here and then into our product detector where it's been mixed by the beat frequency oscillator or also known as the, uh, the carry insertion or reinsertion in this case, uh, oscillator. Uh, I tend to use BFO mainly. Uh, and of course the output of that is our audio frequency which is then going into our audio amplifier uh, and out the speaker. Um, I, I think I mentioned early on in the, in the first video, you know, the need to have 100 dB odd gain to be able to uh, receive that weak signal and have it amplified to a sufficient amount to drive the, uh, the loudspeaker. Uh, certainly got ample gain uh, in this current configuration. Uh, I think I mentioned too when I did the audio frequency amplifier that there would more than likely be a need to adjust that, which I did. And in fact, I actually reduced the overall gain of the uh, audio frequency amplifier in the end. Um, you might notice here a couple of relays. Um, that's the same configuration that I've used uh, for the, the portable rigs. And it just allows me to have the RF always passing through the IF amplifier, through the crystal filter, back through the second IF amplifier in the same direction for both transmit and receive. Um, I find that a, a nice, simple, easy way to do it, as opposed to designing, say, um, bi-directional amplifiers here. Um, I find that seems to work very well for just a, you know, a couple of very simple double pole, double throw relays here. So on the transmit, what would happen then, uh, the uh, microphone audio would come into here. This uh, mixer here would then become the, uh, 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 the modulator, the, uh, the balanced modulator. Uh, the frequency that was the VFO frequency at a clock zero would then become uh, the uh, carrier oscillator. That would then mix that up to an IF frequency through the crystal filter to knock out the unwanted um, sideband through the second IF amp and into the, uh, the mixer here where it's mixed up with our VFO frequency here up to our desired transmit frequency and then out through the, uh, the transmit chain. Um, and like I say, it, it works really well for me and uh, if you look at some of the previous videos you'll see the architecture of, of that. Um, but like I say, it works well for me. So, uh, all in all, I'm, uh, I'm quite happy with that. It seems to be working quite well. Um, the other thing I've got down here was the, the, the frequency scheme. So um, using high side injection, which we were playing around with on a previous video. So our frequency of operation down here in the 80 meter band at the moment, uh, mixing that with a, 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 well, more the point. That frequency of operation is then being mixed with our VFO frequency and then we're taking the difference to be our IF. So in other words, that frequency there 
equals our beat frequency oscillator or our carry insertion oscillator plus our frequency of operation. Now in order to determine what that value should be, uh, what I did is I, I loaded up a test uh, load into the Arduino where I had a fixed uh, operating frequency and then used a separate transmitter to transmit on that selected frequency and then had the code such that uh, with the changes to the uh, the rotary encoder, it was actually subtly changing that beat frequency oscillator uh, frequency. And then I could then tune that to get uh, a nice di discernible um, signal coming out that sounded right for what was going in. And then I took that, that was then the, the final BFO frequency, put it back into the code and re-uploaded as the, as the final code. Um, I've done that in the past, I, 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 yeah, it works well for me, um, if people have other ways of doing it please let me know because it would certainly be of interest, but uh, it seems to work well for me and, really and when I do end up, um, for example like this, you know, uh, it, 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 just, it just seems to work quite well. I think it's nicer sounding audio than the 7300, so <laughs> sorry about that, it'll sound really good. Um, I'll we'll just change the frequency a bit. Anyway, so like I say, um, that's a, the method that I use. It works well for me. So, um, like I say, if anybody else has got a um, another way of doing it, please let me know. Okay, Doke. Well, I um, I find myself starting to repeat myself, so I will um, say 73 here. Um, I'm quite happy with that overall configuration. I'm certainly happy now with the uh, the the gain of the AF amp. Uh, I don't think I need to do anything, anything more on that. Um, for interest sake, I did double check on when I was setting up the BFO frequency and I was using that off-board um, transmitter to, ten, uh, to, to basically send a test signal. Uh, I did use as an audio frequency into that 300 hertz up to 3 kilohertz. Um, and it was, it was good. I was certainly getting 300 hertz out through the speaker and just beyond that 2.8k it was starting to drop off. Uh, which is either going to be a, a function of this crystal filter, which is, it had that bandwidth, uh, but also, and I, um, I should actually double check, the bandwidth of the transmitted signal. But suffice to say, I was certainly getting um, a good range of um, audio or voice frequencies uh, to make the signal discernible in both directions. Okay, well, um, like I say, I'll say 73 again, and I'm not quite sure how much I'll be able to do over the next month or so. I've got a, a few um, issues to deal with. Um, and after that we will see what happens with this particular radio in terms of uh, turning it into a, a transceiver or, or what. Uh, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Anyway, stay safe everybody and we'll see you as soon as I can. Cheers all. Greetings, I think it is. Uh, no. I thought I'd just add a little bit more on the end. Fair enough, but like every now and again also... You can see there are heaps of volume. Or is it new, not new form research? They make awesome ribbons. Nice we've got around. This radio cut is nice. Um, new form research, you look them up and... Which is a bit quiet. Probably a bit more later on. Anyway, I might go uh, and upload this now. Sound. Exceptional sound. You might need to run a thumb or something, but it's a very, very, very loose, maybe. But when you get the balance right, unreal. Um, but uh, yeah, there's a. Oh, gee, I'm trying to think of the name of the company. It's a, such a common name. I'